Hi everyone, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. The topic which we are going to deal is all about the graphical representation of data. So in this topic, we'll be having the definition followed by the bar graph, histogram, frequency polygon, and the simple graphical representation. So these are the topics which we are going to deal in the graphical representation of data. The first one, if we see, let us discuss about the definition of the graphical representation. So the graphical representation of data helps in faster and easier interpretation of data. The first one is all about the bar graph. You can see here the bar graph over here. So this is the depiction of the bar graph. So a bar graph is a visual representation of data and a bar graph uses bars or rectangles we can see you can see the rectangle over here so either bar graph will deploy bars or else it will deploy rectangles of the same width but different heights in order to represent the different values of data you can see the bars which is represented over here have different heights. Apart from this, in general, the bars represent the data items whose values are to be plotted. And the bars have equal gaps between them. The width of the bars does not matter at all. So you can see each and everything is actually having a different width. And also the height of the bars represents different values of data items. Let's go with an example of how to plot a bar graph from the given data which is given here. So we have students and marks A, B, C, D having the marks 8, 14, 9 and 5. So this is how the following bar graph will be. So the students are represented over here as A, B, C and D. And these are the marks which they obtained. So A got 8. So 8 is over here. And B got 14. So this has been indicated. And C got 9. So we have indicated over here. And D got 5. So this is how the bar graph will be plotted. Now let's discuss about the line graph. A line graph is said to be a kind of graph which represents data in which the series of points are to be connected by segments of straight lines. In a line graph, the data points are plotted on a graph and they are joined together with a straight line. So this is how the line graph will be. Let's go with an example of how to draw or plot the dots of the following data. So we have the tabulation over here which contains the favorite color and the number of students. So for red it's 9, blue it's 7 and we have for green, yellow, orange, indigo and violet. So let's discuss and see the solution of how to draw the line graph for the following data. So for red we have 9. So we need to draw a dot which is over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there are totally 9. And for blue the number of students whose like blue color is 7. So blue it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And for green, it's 5. So for green, it's 5 over here. For yellow, it's 3. As per the tabulation, which we have. And for orange, it's 2. For indigo, it's 1. And for violet, it's 3. So 
so this is how we need to plot the dots in terms of the graph that is nothing but the line graph now let's discuss about histogram if you see about histogram a histogram is a form of bar graph which is used for continuous class intervals in terms of the histogram the bars do not have gaps between them you can see here how the histogramic representation is over here and the width of the bars is proportional to the class intervals of data the area of each rectangle is proportional to its corresponding frequency so this is all about the histogram let's go with an example of how to do and depict these kinds of histogramic problems so we have the tabulation which contains the test score and the frequency if you see this one the test score is of range starting from 24 to 30 30 to 36 and it goes on till 60 and we have the frequencies over here so let us draw the following histogram so the range is 24 to 30 it's 5 so we have indicated test score in x axis and frequency in y axis so from 24 to 30 the test score is 5 so we have mentioned the level 5 from 30 to 36 it's 6 so we have indicated till 6 from 36 to 42 it's 8 so till 8 we have indicated from 42 to 48 it's 5 so from 40, so if you see here from 42 to 48 it's 5 and from 48 to 54 the range is 10 so we have indicated and finally 54 to 60 it's 4 so we have indicated So this is how we'll be drawing the histogramic graph. Now let us discuss about the frequency polygon. If you see about a frequency polygon, the frequency polygon is formed by joining the midpoints of the adjacent rectangles in a histogram with line segments. The class mark for a class interval will be calculated as upper class limit plus lower class limit. So in terms of frequency polygon a frequency polygon can also be formed by joining the class marks of the given data with line segments and also the midpoints at each end are joined to the immediately lower or higher assumed class interval of zero frequency apart from this in terms of frequency polygon we can ensure that the area of a histogram is equal to the area enclosed by its corresponding frequency polygon the frequency polygons are used to represent the data when the data is continuous and very large Let's go with an example. We got to draw a frequency polygon for the given data. So we have the class intervals, midpoint, and the percentage in terms of relative frequency. So in order to draw this one, we'll just proceed with this as x-axis class interval and indicating y-axis in terms of relative frequency. So the class interval is zero. less than or equal to which is mentioned so the value of x will be by this side zero less than or equal to by this side less than or less than 10 so indicating with the midpoint 5 we have 10 so we have indicated the relative frequency for the range 0 to 10 and for the range 10 to 20 the relative frequency is 20 so we have indicated for 20 to 30 it's 35 so for 20 to 30 it's 35 and for 30 to 40 it's 25 finally for 40 to 50 it's 10 
So this is how we'll be drawing the frequency polygon. Hope you got an idea. Thank you for watching this from GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited.